Hi, this is Heidi Hobson, a technology support teacher with the Waterloo Regional District School Board. This tutorial is to show how to import form responses into a Google Map. So to begin, you will go to your form, and your form needs to have location data. So in this case, we've asked for city and province or territory. You can use longitude and latitude data as well, or um, the important thing is the more specific you can be, the better placed your place marks will be. So this form is asking for mineral information. It's based on grade four curriculum in the science uh, curricula. So in this case, we have researched a mineral called potash. It's located in Sussex, New Brunswick, and is an underground mine. And in this case, we're also asking students to paste a URL of an image. So they would have to have another tab open. In this case, we have this one here. And they would need to copy, control C, and paste that URL into this box. And then they just click Submit. So as with all forms, this data is being collected in a response sheet back in your drive. What we want to do now, though, is we actually don't need to go directly to the response sheet. What we want to do is create a map. So we will go to New, More, and Google My Maps. Mine happens to be in a shared folder. That's why that message came up. It wouldn't come up for you. So when the map loads, the first thing you would probably like to do is title your map. And it's up to you whether or not you add a description. I'm not going to it for our case. And then it asks you, or one of the options you have, is to import data. So we're going to import the response sheet that is in our drive. So I'm going to look for um, minerals. And my response sheet is here. It's called the Impact of Mining Minerals. So I click on that and then click Select. You may need to allow Google Maps to access your drive, and so please click Allow if those come up. So the first question you're asked is what columns have the information data for the location? And in our case, it was the city and the province. And now you're being asked, what would you like your title to be? I'm going to say the mineral you've researched and click Finish. And then Google Maps will import that data and display it across the map. So you'll see here we have the different minerals that were collected and those place marks are represented on our map. So a couple of features that we now have that you can um, access is we can change the base map. So you can make it lighter in color and so that your place marks jump out at you a little bit um, more clearly. You can also change the place mark itself. So we're going to group places by their individual st uh, styles, but it says set labels. We want to change the label to the mineral you've researched so that it's easy for kids just to look on the map and to see um, clearly and quickly the mineral that they want to go to and find more out. Find more out. <laughs> find more about, <laughs> if I can say that clearly. Okay, the other thing that you can do is when you click on a place mark, like uranium, you'll see that a summary card comes up, and this has all of the data that was collected in the form. If you scroll over the link, you can see the image. So another thing you can do is you can edit this place card. I can click off timestamp and say it doesn't matter to me when the data was entered into the form, but I do still want the city, the province or territory, the type of mine it was, and this URL. So I can click Save. That will now affect all of the place marks. Any edits that you make impact all of them. If you want to get a little bit fancier, what you can do is we can edit and copy, oops, copy this URL and paste it into the camera. So instead of searching for the image, we're going to click on image URL, paste that link right there, and then hit select. Now the image becomes part of the actual summary. So now if I click over diamonds or just um, pop over it, it will have the image in the summary card itself. It does still have the link. I could go back again and um, 
unclick that so that the link doesn't show up and then there's my summary card. If that's something you want to do however you would have to do it for each individual place card it doesn't show up on all of them so in this case now we don't see the link nor is it in the um, camera so you would have to go to image and you would have to again copy this place it into the camera hit select and then it becomes part of your your place card okay you can also change the place cards themselves you can make them different colors different shapes etc you may share your map just as you would any other Google product you can change the link to any one or you can have it be specific and that's how you would map um, form data to a Google map another idea of doing this is a map that maps books that we've read uh, based on their settings so for instance this book station 11 takes place in Toronto Canada and it's a time period of the future you can make the form inputs anything you want you could have genre you could have character um, uh, you know how they felt about the book and this could be another way of sharing and displaying um, reading information so that's how you map data to a Google map thanks